LeBron James is in the news with the NBA playoffs having violated the league's COVID protocols. He will not be suspended. He might be fine. Who knows? But let's talk about some of the ironies here. No, not just conspiracy theories of the league wanting to have LeBron for the playoffs for TV ratings and all that. We'll leave that be. Look, was if this was the uh, guy off the bench, would he have been suspended? Who knows? But the ironic thing here is if the Lakers as a team were 85% vaccinated, they would have extended freedoms where LeBron, who he himself vaccinated or not, would have been able to do the tequila promotion legally. Look, it's LeBron's right, any player's right, to get vaccinated or not get vaccinated. But the league has set up, like in the NFL, the vaccine carrot. If enough people get vaccinated, lots of freedoms. So that's the irony here. If the Lakers were 85% vaccinated and Frank Vogel has said they're not, LeBron would be able to go to a restaurant and eat when he's on the road. He would have been able to do the tequila promotion. Masks would have been relaxed whether he himself had the vaccine or not. So with the team not 85% vaccinated, here we are. LeBron did indeed violate the COVID protocols. Not sure what his penalty will be going forward. I'm sure that will come. Coaches now who are fully vaccinated in the NBA no longer need to wear masks. So that's where the country and the league is heading. But that's what I find ironic about this LeBron situation get vaccinated or not even him, but if 85% of his team was, uh, then he would be free to do, do what he wanted. I think what will happen in the NFL is teams will band together and say, come on guys, let's get enough people vaccinated so we can have more freedoms in the facility and on the road. And the vaccine carrot will work in the NFL, I think better than it has worked in the NBA. Thanks for watching.